So here's the trig identity that we're going to use to find the exact value for the sine of x plus y. That is the sine of the sum of two angles, x and y, is equal to sine of x cosine y plus cosine x sine y. So I've written, rewritten that right here, and then I started substituting. The sine of x we know is 3 sevenths, and the cosine of y is negative 2 fifths. When we get over to the right side of the equal sign, what is the cosine of x? Well, we're not given that, but we have to figure it out. So <clears throat> we're told that x is in the second quadrant and has a sine of 3 sevenths. So if we use the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the coordinate of this leg or the x coordinate of this point which turns out to be by the Pythagorean theorem, the square root of 49 minus nine or the square root of 40. And so the cosine of X is the square root of, negative square root of 40 over seven. And likewise for Y, Y is in the second quadrant and has a cosine of negative two fifths, which means the Y coordinate of this point by the Pythagorean theorem is the square root of 25 minus four, which is 21. So we get the, the sine of y is the square root of 21 over five, opposite over hypotenuse. <clears throat> so if we multiply these all together, this is what we get. I didn't say 40 times 21. I pictured 40 as four times 10, because I'm gonna put this in simplest radical form. By taking the square root of that four, which gives me minus two times the square root of 210 minus this six all over the common denominator of 35. That's your exact value right there. And if I go to board two, here's the kind of proof that this works. Uh, X of one is the, in, the angle that has a sine of three sevenths, except we have to subtract that from pi because again, we're in the second quadrant over here. So this angle has a sine of three sevenths, so does that one. And so pi minus the inverse sine of, or the angle it has a sine of three sevenths will give us the angle in the second quadrant. Y is the inverse cosine of negative two fifths, the sine of those, the sum of those two angles. <coughs> the Desmos graphing calculator gives me that answer and that matches the exact value that so there you go. Hope that helped. Hope that was enough steps. If you have any questions, post a comment.